Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I have been absent for a couple of weeks. Life just kind of been getting in the way. You know how sometimes that, that happens. I've just had a lot going on, so I've not really been able to film anything or post anything. I actually lost my charger, which meant I couldn't use my phone. Not that I was doing any makeup anyway. I've just had a couple of lazy weeks and I've not really done anything with my face. But for today's video, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I put up a couple of polls where I asked you, my followers, to choose different parts of my makeup. So yeah, today I put this whole look together based on your choices. Please stay with me and I will show you how I came up with this right here. Hello there. Um, so I'm just editing this and I've realised that the sound quality isn't great so I'm really, really, really sorry. It's just for the tutorial part and you can see everything. I don't know why that happened but I'll fix it for next time. Really, really annoying but... Hello. So the first poll I put up was to select either a defined eyebrow or a natural brow. A natural brow was winning for the first maybe four or five hours but then it switched and the new winner is a defined brow. I'll always start by underlining the brow. So I'm just using the Revolution Brow Pro and adding the shade top to draw a line underneath my brow. Next I'll go above the brow just in the middle and I'll make the top of my arch. I'm going to sweep the brow round and flick it right down the way. I like quite a high arch if I'm doing a defined brow to give some lift. Next I'm just going to start filling in the tail of my brow with this Promad. Eyebrows really aren't my strong point so I'm just bringing this product through the body of the brow taking it towards the front. Now what I'm going to do is just put a few wee hair like strokes at the front, turn my brush to the side and I just flick up the way and I'll kind of try and blend that into the rest of the brow. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other one just now. So next I'm going to carve out my brows and I'm also going to set my lid for a shadow. The way I do that is with the same brush I just wipe off the excess. So I just take my Pee Louise base in the shade 2 on the back of my hand. Now I'm going to begin to carve these out. I'll start drawing along underneath the brow and I'll pull the product down. So I'm just taking this all the way along. I try and carve my brows out with a colour that's similar to my skin tone. I'm not a fan of really light colours underneath their eyebrows. I'm just switching over to this concealer brush by Ellen Tracy and I'm going to take some more of the P. Louise base and I'm just going to pat this all over the lid. I used to use concealer to do this but since I got my P. Louise base I won't use anything else. It's just the best so I'll just pat this all over just to set it in place. The next poll I put up was for eyeshadow. I asked if I should do a cold eyeshadow look or a warm eyeshadow look. Cold eyeshadow look I would have went with some blues, purples, maybe some greens, warm shadow which was selected by you is more towards the reds, the yellows, the oranges so I'm going to try and create something. I don't know what yet so I think to do this I'm going to use the Stacey McGee Carnival palette just because I think I want to use orange today. The shade Lit in this palette is just my favourite orange of all time. Super orange basically. It's so pigmented, it's really bright. The colour payoff is just amazing in these shadows so I'm going to base my eye look around that shade today. Okay the first shade I'm going to go into is Guilty which is a cranberry kind of colour so I'm just stamping this colour in the crease just now. I'll take it slightly above because obviously when I look ahead it just disappears. Honestly I can't believe how messy this looks before I actually get anywhere with it. So I've just stamped this all the way around. I'm going to do the same the other eye. Now I'm going to go into the colour Lip which is the bright orange shade that I talked about and I'm going to apply this directly above that cranberry shade. I'm just using the fluffy side of my Anastasia Dale brush. Go in circular motions and work that around the edges. I'm also coming quite far onto the colour I've already applied. Right now this looks like a big mess. I'm not actually sure what I'm doing. Now I'm taking this big fluffy brush from A Body and I'm going to go into the shade Teen, which is the yellow in the palette. I'm going to go around the very edges of this, just under the brow. I don't mind my eyeshadow being right up and touching underneath the brow. At the front anyway, not so much at the arch. I quite like to put on some highlight there, but I'm just blending this in and kind of pulling it down into those colours. If you slowly pull this down over it, you get a really nice gradient effect. I just want to go in with a wee bit more of that orange underneath the yellow. So I'm just using that same Anastasia brush. I'm actually going to go into the shade Wasted now, really bright purple. I'm going to apply this on the outer part of my my crease you can see that's really really bright <laughs> so I've just got them on the outer V's of my eye and I'm gonna just gently tickle the edges and pull this out I'm just blending this now with my wee Zoeva 224 brush since I'm a big fan of half cut creases I'm gonna surprise you and do a half cut crease so I've just put a wee bit more of that P. Louise base on my hand now this is the wee concealer brush from A Body that I use it's just a wee flat angle brush as always I'll put a wee bit on the lash line and then look up so I know where to begin the cut to get a really definitive line it works so much better if you stamp on the product 
So I'm probably going to go to the on the middle just a wee bit. Now that I've cut both creases, I'm going to go into the shade Funky, which is a bright pink in the palette. And I'm going to put this on where the purple meets the day. And I'm bringing this in towards the centre a wee bit. And I'm going to put a wee bit of purple over that edge and blend them in together. To get another flat eyeshadow brush by Ellen Tracy, and I'm going to go into that bright orange. And I'm going to put this next to the pink shade. I'm going to do this on the other side. Finally, I'm just taking the yellow shade again. I'm going to put this in the inner corner. Okay, I think I'm done with the eyes now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some foundation on. I'm going to use my YSL All Hours Foundation. I'm going to use my flat foundation brush from Real Techniques. It's been a while since I used this. When I have done my eyeshadow first, I will take the foundation on my brush maybe about 3 or 4 centimetres away from my eyes and I will go back in with a beauty blender. Sometimes what can happen is you go too close. So now I'll take my setting spray. I'm just going to use this Maybelline one to spray my beauty blender. So I'll just go over all my foundation now to make sure that it's all poofed out in the skin and blend it out. Okay now that I have put all my foundation on it's time to put on the next thing which was in my poles and that was contour. Now the two options were powder contour or cream contour and cream contour won by quite a lot. So the one I'm going to use today is the cream contour kit by Laura Mercier. It looks like this here. Now I actually went to buy this because I thought it was powder and when I got home I realised it was actually cream and I was really upset that I haven't used cream in a few years but I thought you know what I'll, I'll just try it and this is actually really really good. It comes with three contour shades there, you've got the lightest one and then you've got the medium one and then the dark one down here and then you've got two highlights and these are both cream highlight, this one is obviously too dark for me. And this one, it's not the kind of highlight that I was expecting that would go like under your eyes. You wouldn't put that there because it's like a shimmer through it. So I'm just going to apply this with a flat brush by Ellen Tracy. And I'm going to go into the shade 2. Apply this as a stripe underneath my cheekbones. And I'll kind of take it up a wee bit like this. I'll also put a bit of this on my jaw. Put a wee bit under my lips and down the sides of my nose. And then I'll just take some and I'll put a few dots on my head. Just around the edges. It used to always be the Anastasia Beverly Hills one that I used, which I really, really liked. I don't know, it's a lot of effort to do a cream contour, and I just kind of got lazy. But use loads of cream contour. Get my foundation brush from A Body, and I'm just going to use this to blend this in. So I just use kind of circular motions. Now this stuff blends really easily. It's got a really, really nice smoothness to it, but it doesn't like disappear out completely. Like I think you find that with some cream contours that when you actually blend them, they just kind of disappear into the skin, and there's no color payoff at all. But I think this one has a perfect combination with not looking streaky and also not disappearing. I'm just going to blend this in here now. Again, I just use circle motions and then I'll go underneath. Talking about this. Now, I like to do my cream contour first because sometimes you find that it's a wee bit triangular there. And I don't want to keep blending this into there. So what I do is I just leave it like that and I'm going to fix it up with concealer. I'll just go down the sides of my nose quickly. Under my lips. And then just again round the edges of my forehead. Blends away super quickly as well. So I'm just going to deepen that contour underneath my cheekbones. I'm going to take the darkest shade and I'll just put a little line on like this. So I'm just going to quickly conceal underneath my eyes so that's not too harshly triangular where the contour is. I'm just using the wee Last Imperfection concealer from Collection, which I don't love. I'm only using this because I've ran out of my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. But this stuff here dries really fast. You need to work really quickly to blend it down. I'm actually just going to put a wee bit like this on my chin. Cupid's bow and a wee bit in the centre of my nose. The next two options in the poll I put up was for highlight. Now I asked if I should do a cream highlight or a liquid highlight. The favourable option was the liquid highlight. So I'm going to be using the Iconic London Illuminator, which is my absolute favourite highlight. It's just so nice for a really wet look highlighter. It's not too glittery. It's so, so pretty, especially like when it catches the sunlight. So I actually put it on with my finger. I put a few drops onto the back of my hand like this. I put a bit of my finger and I just pat it up the cheekbone and then what I'll do is I'll take my Real Technique sponge with the flat edge and I'll pat that into the skin. Now, my favourite summertime makeup is just put on some foundation, a wee bit of bronzer, lots of mascara and then just some of this and it is so bronze glow, like really summery. It looks really really healthy. So I'm just putting this in all the usual places that I highlight. I actually put a wee bit of this just above the arch of my eyebrow as well and pat that in. I just like a wee bit of shine on my temple. I think my eye makeup always turns out better when I've got no idea what I'm doing. These have chosen well so far. Since that's all of my cream and liquid products on, I'm now going to set my face with Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just going to take the wee puff that it comes with. I'm going to bake underneath my cheeks. 
I like to do this for a really defined contour. I'll also take a wee bit of this and I'll put it on my forehead, just in the centre. With my other beauty blender, I like to put it just underneath my eyes. That pigment is honestly just, oh my god, wow. I asked if I should do a blush or a bronze look in my pot and the winner was bronze. So while I'm baking, I'm just going to take my Technics bronzer. I've got my big multitasking brush from Real Techniques. Just now I'm just going to apply this around the edges of my forehead, bronze up my dome. I'm also just going to take this lightly around my jawline and sweep it down my neck up. I'm going to take my contour brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to put the same bronzer down the sides of my nose. Something else I like to do is I don't just go on the ends but I go just above the ball of the nose just so it separates the bridge from the ball. I don't really like just a straight nose. It kind of makes it look flat so by putting the bronzer just here it makes it look like you have a wee button nose which I think is quite cute. I'm just going to wipe away that powder now I'm just using my big duo fibre face brush. All my face brushes are Real Techniques. So I'm just swiping this away now under my eyes. So the next question in the poll was about a bronze or a blush look. Since we've selected a bronze look, I'm going in with my Pula by Benefit bronzer. So as always, I just use the side of my brush, wee brush that it comes with, and then I'll pull it up. Same on the other side. I'm actually just going to dip in with my contour brush and now do that a wee bit more. Blend it into the cream contour. I especially like to make it dark right where like that part of the ear is because that's where the dimple would be the most if I actually had prominent cheekbones. <laughs> if the bronzer or the contour goes too far down, I'll just take that brush that I use with the translucent powder, sweep underneath and go back up into that. Especially like down at the front if it's like came a wee bit too far forward. I'm going to take my Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a pure mess, but I'm going to go into the shade forever. It's like a light blue. I think this will look really nice with like the eyes and stuff. So I'm going to use my little detail brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to go into the blue. I'm just going to really lightly put some on the inner corner. I've just realised I've not put anything underneath my eyes yet. I've not even planned for that. I don't know what to do. I'm also going to put a wee bit of this in the brow bone. Like I said at the start, I don't mind taking my eyeshadow right up to the front of the brow, but I like to leave it. I like to leave a gap here so that I can put some highlight in afterwards to separate the eyeshadow from the brow. Just going to add a wee touch to my nose and Cupid's bow. Okay, I've decided that I'm going to put that bright pink that I put on the lid earlier underneath the eye. So I'm going to put this in my waterline. I'm getting a wee bit of fallout, but that's okay because I've put my translucent powder on. So that'll just wipe away. To soften that, I'm just going to take the big brush that I used with the yellow for above the eye and I'm going to tickle underneath. Okay, so I'm just going with some mascara now. This is the Maybelline Intense Black Lash Sensational Mascara. I think this look would look really nice with like a big wing but honestly i can't do wings to save myself so i don't i don't know why it is i used to do them all the time if anyone's getting any tips for doing wings then please do comment down below because i would really like to be able to pair some of my eyeshadow looks with wings i just can't do them I'm actually going to switch over to my Bad Girl Bang Mascara for bottom lashes because, as I mentioned before, I just think it's lovely on bottom lashes. It makes them look so long and separated and really black as well. Such a good mascara. I don't know if this wee tiny bottle was worth a tenner though. I'm going to do my lips now and since it was voted that I do a nude lip, I'm going to do a nude lip over a bold lip. A nude lip's obviously going to look way better with this anyway because um, I've got a lot going on in the eyes. So I'm going to go with a nude but I want to go with like quite a neutral nude if that is a thing. I don't want it to be too pink or too orange. For starters I'm just going to use my wee brown lip liner. I can't remember what this is called but I'll find out and I'll link it down in the description box below. I'm just going to go in with my favourite nude from my favourite person and that's obviously Jamie Genevieve's MAC lipstick. It really is like the most neutral nude and you can change it up if you want it to be more pink you can layer it with um, a pink lip liner or if you want it to be more purple you can put a purple lip liner and it honestly just works with anything. Since I've done a brown lip liner this is going to tie in really nicely with what I'm wanting. Once I put that on I'll always just pat it in with my finger. To finish this look off, I'm just going to spray it all over just now with my Urban Decay All Night Resent Spray. I'm just going to go and apply lashes and fix my hair up and I'll be back in a moment. So this is the finished look. I actually filmed this tutorial and got ready and went out for dinner. So I've actually been out for six, six and a half hours. Yeah, so I've done this makeup almost seven hours ago. As you can see, it still looks as if it's just been done. I haven't touched this up at all. I stuck down the inner corner of my lash because it was kind of hanging off. I don't actually know what lashes I've got on today, so sorry. I'm really, really bad for losing my lashes or taking them out of the packaging and then forgetting what ones they even are. So this is what I came up with from Your Choices as my followers. The most 
prominent feature of this makeup is obviously the eyes. Now, I didn't plan any of this. This was just something that I came up with. Well, if you've watched this far, then you'll have seen me come up with it literally as I've been going. But this is what I put together using warm shadows. I did use a wee bit of purple. I think that this goes quite well. I just thought it would tie it all together. As always, I'll link all of my products that I used down below in the description box. Thank you so much for participating in the polls if you did. If you would like to follow me on Instagram and see further posts and opportunities like this, then please go and follow Color Beauty. I'll link that down below in the description box as well. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye!